Mr. Hoover wanted someone to follow him and try and cheer you folks up. Well, he must be awfully desperate if he has to ask a Democrat. The problem is, who's going to cheer me up? As all as I see is what I see on the street corners. And what I see tonight are people without homes, without jobs, without food. Their own people, American people. I hear tell these 16 million souls are unemployed, a full third of the workforce. These people are asking for our help, but they're not asking for charity, they're asking for a job. And the next best thing we can do is see to it that they have food and the necessities of life. And we got the money, because there's more money in this country than there ever was, only fewer people have it, but it's there. The president promised this country prosperity, but up until now, only a handful of men have got any. I mean, the difference between our rich and our poor goes greater every year. Rich man, well, man can make a million dollars overnight, and he's on every front page the next morning, but it never tells who gave up that million that he got. You can't take money without getting it from somebody else. That means... There's not a one of us that has anything to do with, doesn't owe a part of it to those who need it now. But I don't suppose that the most unemployed or the hungriest man in America hasn't contributed in some way to the wealth of every millionaire in America. I mean, it wasn't the working man that got us in this depression thing at all. It was the big boys themselves that brought this whole financial drunk we was going through. I thought that was going to last forever. And they over-borrowed, over-merged, over-capitalized, and over everything else. People are starving to death. Americans. Can you hear that? Here in this country, more wheat, more corn, more than anything else in this country, we got starving people. Well, I hope you folks had a good rest during the intermission. Well, I sure did. And if any of you took a smoke out there, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. As far as I can see, the only good thing about smoking tobacco is it keeps away the mosquitoes. And which is proof positive that mosquitoes are more smarter than people. Anyway, a number of things happened while you ladies were out there standing in line. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, we had three different presidents, Mr. Harding, Mr. Coolidge, and uh, Mr. Hoover. All of them Republicans, of course, uh, but the Democrats don't have to worry. As history has shown that people can only stand the Republicans for 12 years at a time. <laughs> and then we had that monkey trial down there in Tennessee to prove that man descended from apes. But I never believed it, because I never yet met an ape who was devious, heartless, or greedy. I always figured man was descended from lawyers. <laughs>